future generations. Stop it, my please! My child's hood! Not by accident, the designs are here for me. I was started from an ember. I remember the feeling. Set. And the glow on the scene. Four. Control of another. Three. At the rolling of thunder. Two. It was hypnotizing one. now. Night sessions, baby. Da ja hao. Da ja hao. Hello, everyone. It's Chinese Language Week up until the 2nd of October. And because of that, we're going to do a quick, impromptu, succulent session here tonight. A little night session. Beauty. Look at my beauties here. I'm just show, pretty much just showing off. But yeah, here's all the babies here. I love these guys, eh? But yeah, we're gonna transplant um, into this big old pot here. Anita has given me this, gifted me this pot. Bloody beautiful. It reminds me of her. No, it's eh? Are you? Yeah, yeah. Are you really? Now, nah, is that one rolling though? Because I'll just carry on. Oh, check it out. Yes. Okay. Oh, cute. So carrying on from Dr. Emoto's water experiment, I've named my plants here. So I've got beautiful, I've got, I put loving, I put grow strong, I put kia kaha. I'm just going to put that in the inside there and stick that. You don't have to do this, but I would recommend that you have a little Google of Dr. Emoto's experiment. All right, well, I'm gonna break this down into three easy steps for you. Step one, you're gonna to go to Bunnings and you're gonna buy a bunch of stuff there. All right, I'm gonna go through all of this stuff in a minute. Shout out Bunnings, but uh, yeah, sorry, I did uh, forget to take this, um, what are they called? Shopping basket. The shopping basket <laughs> back. I am gonna return it, I promise, I promise. I will, but shout out Bunnings. <laughs> All right. So step one, uh, this depends on what your uh, trans, what you're gonna uh, build your succulent farm into. So I've got a pot that has a hole on the bottom, so I don't really need a cra crazy amount of drainage on the bottom. But if you have a pot that doesn't have a, a hole on the bottom, then make sure you build the bottom up with rocks first, about 10% of rocks. First, so it's got crazy good amount of drainage. Succulents hate being overwatered, so this is a great uh, way of making sure that they're always drained. So yeah, get into it. Get your uh, get your rocks. Get your rocks. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so get your rocks first. If if you don't have the hole in the bottom there, as you can see, yeah. But I've got the hole in the bottom, so I'm gonna go straight for my soil. All right, so I've got here another pot from Anita here. I'm just gonna dump it in here. Step one. Get your soil in. If you've got, man, that's a crazy way to do it. If you've got no hole on the bottom, make sure you've got rocks on the bottom first. Take out any roots or anything that you find. This is reused and recycled soil. It's a bit of uh, this stuff. I love that one. <laughs> but it is really good soil, this stuff. It is really good soil. So uh, that's what I'm using. But I've also used, actually, again, a bit of this stuff. <laughs> um, far out. This is a good crowd tonight. Um, what's our feature plant? So you start with the feature look. The feature look. What are we going to go for? I've got a few buddies here. Look at this puppy. Oh, he's a bit ugly, but I, I, I caught my eye. I thought he was quite cool. And we've got this spiky guy. I really like him. Got these guys. I got all these little cute cactuses as well. Shout out Bunning. So I'm going to show you how much um, value you can actually get. Bunnings isn't paying me for this, but um, they should be. They nah. should be. <laughs> I was say that. So I reckon I've got like three to four main Christmas presents out of 100 bucks, and I'm going to be the man at Christmas, you know? <laughs> I hope they're like plants though. All right, so we're going to be transplanting the Xiao Ju Wu. 
It means little plant. I love that. Little guy. Little fella. All right, so we're going to pick our feature plant. What are we gonna pick? I really like this guy, he caught my he caught my eye. So we're gonna do a quick transplant of him. Gonna do it over here. Gonna collect all this stuff. So this is obviously a full on transplant. I'm taking him out, checking out what roots he's got and stuff. Um, I'm gonna get rid of all the soil that's on there, which is all good. Say goodbye to his old home. Sweet as. And then I'm gonna put him in, right bang smack in the middle, beauty. Get him in, get him in, get him in. Press the soil down. Far out, look at that. Mean, finished. Nah. <laughs> okay, cool. That's a good start. I like that. Boom. Next ones. I love these guys, eh? Look at these sick guys. They're succulent. Insane. Look at that. Beauty. All right, so they're going to go in. Look at that again. Root structure. So we're going to dig up a little bit of hole and get him in. Damn, so I forgot to say, this is actually step two. So step two. Get your plants in. Start decorating your pot and getting your plants in. Dig them in. Get in the ones that have root, as I'm doing right now. And just enjoy it. Beautiful. Alright, so carrying on, we're going to get some more of these guys in. I got that one in. I'm going to have a look at this thing. This thing's crazy. Look at it. I don't know how he's going to go when he gets a nicer, happier home. We'll see. So again, I'm going to remove all the soil because I reckon he's going into a bit of a better home. Sometimes I just look at you to see if you're gonna, if you're anticipating me to say, this stuff! Because <laughs> he's going into this stuff! Oh, that one's in, I'm happy with that one. Cactuses and succulents can go together because they both need stuff or water. So I've got all these little pots again, shout out Bunning for the succulents, um, even though I paid for them. Oh yeah, and they came in these um, beautiful pots. I'll probably end up putting some little succulents, like some little leaves or something, trying to propagate something crazy. I'm crazy, man. I'm loco. I'm the loco gardener. Got some, got some prickles. Ah, ah. Damn. All right. Definitely wear your gardening gloves for this. Ah. So this guy's ruthless. Hello, beauty. He's like that ruthless mate that we all know with a bit of bite to him. You know who you are. You know how I'm talking about. Devil pair. So I've removed, I love this guy, look at him, he's freaky, he looks like an alien cocoon. So I've removed all the old dirt there, again, oh uh, yeah, and I'm going to plonk him in. Alright, alright, so I'm pretty happy, so I'm pretty happy with um, how these look now, and that's step three, step three, step three is decorating. I love this stuff. So I got this rock, beautiful rock, and I also got this rock. I like the yellow, uh, the orange tint on there. I smashed them up earlier. I just found them from Long Bay Beach and then I smashed them up. So get your hammer and just find some cool rocks and smash them up and you'll have some stuff to decorate with. But I'm gonna start with this guy first. I'm just gonna put this massive rock just there. He can live there. Gonna put this beauty over here, another little guy. He can live right in there. Dig this guy in a bit. He can go there. Of course, of course he can go there. That one in there. Oh, so I've ripped all of these leaves off, these jade succulents off each other. I'm just gonna use them, I'm propagating them. So I'm not even putting propagating hormone on. Um, I'm just gonna put them in there um, and then you'll see my final step. Uh, so we've got four steps, I lied to you. Um, the fourth step is my favorite, of course, which is watering using the sprinkly. But we've actually got the, the misty now. We've got the, the misty. <laughs> Do you like that one? Wow. <laughs> Insane, eh? Well, did I just make that up? <laughs> the misty. So yeah, I'll show you that later. And that's how we're gonna look after these ones, the ones that have no roots yet. And it's gonna create a little bit of moisture for them always so that they can get their roots and propagate themselves. So I'm just digging in him, but he's not gonna go in. So I'm gonna use my pinky here, the pinky there, to just create a little path for his uh, stalk to just kind of go in there, sit there. Beauty. So I found this guy as well, just walking down the street. Gonna put him in, see what he does. And the last one that I'm gonna do is this beautiful ZZ stem that my friend Anita has given me here. So this is all about Anita today. And we're gonna put this in here to top it off. This is obviously an indoor plant, but you don't really need to water these guys. Someone actually told me that the stem and the leaf is actually all leaf. They don't actually have stem. So look that up. They have rhizomes. They have what? 
fries on. Why is that? Well, and what do those do? They um, collect water. Oh yeah. And turn into like little balls under the surface, which is why they don't need watering very much. And there you go. Unreal. Yeah. Far out. We should um. You should just run the show. Kiwi has gardening. What for needs? <laughs> we should um. Uh, do a root Wouldn't be as good. propagation. Hey. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. See, I love that. You need to know your plants. That's the number one thing you've got to do is get to know your plants and you know what they need. But final step here, enough about Anita. Final step here, we're going to use these decorative rocks, these little guys, these white ones. I like the white against the black, the purple, all the greens, the yellows. Let's go. So this is just the tricky part. We want to be delicate. But I want to build them up pretty, pretty hardcore. So I'm gonna actually get them under heaps of the succulents, leaves and stuff. See what they do. See how the succulents react. Insane. I reckon we're done. Oh. All right. I reckon we're done. And as I was saying, the fourth and final step, the misty, the, the mist, the misty. Did you see any of that? Was that funny or nah? What's funny? I looked up at you and you looked concerned. Bye, Lama. Bye, Lama. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I've got myself a hose here. My housemates must love me. Yeah, I've got the buddy. I've got my housemates' lamp. I've got the hose here, all out on the dirt. But we're gonna do some misting. Some mist, not the sprinkly, but some misting. Look at this. I love this. Eh? Here we go. Look at it. Woo! Look at that. So this is kind of what you want for your for your succulents. Um, and remember, we've just propagated them, the guys with the roots. So they need some loving, they're stressed out. And the ones with no roots, what we've actually propagated, they're gonna need a little bit of water as well because they're gonna need to create some roots. So they need something. But remember these are, remember these are succulents, so they don't need much. This is the first time that they've been transplanted so I'm gonna give them a little extra loving and we'll hope for the best for these guys. Hope that they grow big and strong. So they kind of puff out. Imagine if they were like popping out of this thing. That would be sick. We'll give it six months and I'll show you an update. But as I was saying, remember, this buddy has a hole in the bottom. So I'm not too scared about how much I'm watering them now. Look at this, I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking, look, you know? What I mean? But, um, <laughs> unreal. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I don't mind how much I water them because it's drainageable, you know? The water can escape somewhere, and it's the first time that I'm doing this. So they got in the shock, and tomorrow when I do this again, it will be real, real quick. And every day, I'm gonna watch them every day, see what they need, just give them a quick mist thing, you know? All right, that's it. I love it. Shout out to uh, Jess. Uh, put that down. Now nah, I'm gonna hold it. All right, so shout out. Oh no, put it down. <laughs> Unreal. What the hell? Can't decide. Uh, so shout out uh, Bunnings for the crate. I will return it. I promise. And um, <laughs> try. And um, and shout out Jess for giving me the Chinese phrases practice and incorporate into this episode of being Chinese language week up until the 2nd of October. Try some Chinese words, it's pretty hard, but give it a go. So my last Chinese word is Ming Bai La Ma. That means you got it, understand, four easy steps to make a beautiful as succulent farm. Look at that, starting. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. You know?